jungle. Hello, my name is Rory Ridley Duff. Uh, I'm making this video a uh, simple guide to the Fair Shares model uh, in my capacity as reader in cooperative and social enterprise at Sheffield Business School. Uh, but I'm also making it for Social Enterprise Europe, where I'm a director, the Fair Shares Association, where I'm a co-founder, and the International Cooperative Business Education Consortium, where I act as chair. So, what is the Fair Shares model? Fair Shares model is a whole suite of intellectual property that we've created to support multi-stakeholder cooperation within member-owned social enterprises. It's made up of a website where we've got introductory information about why it came about, what it's for, and how it works. We have a Fair Shares Wiki, which has got more technical information. We have three sets of model rules, one for associations, one for cooperatives, and one for companies that implement the Fair Shares model. We've got a discussion forum where our members and our supporters can make proposals, debate and take decisions. There are some short articles, some conference papers and academic articles that have been published in a journal and also a full length book called The Case for Fair Shares. We've got some diagnostic tools, seven, uh, that you can use in consultancy and research. And there's also learning materials that were published in the case of Fair Shares, but have also been included in one of the popular textbooks on social enterprise. So the Fair Shares Association formed in 2013 to promote this, and we created a company in 2015. Uh, and we have some websites the way you can get further information. The Fair Shares model is based on a set of values and principles that we agreed in 2012. We believe in wealth and power sharing amongst primary stakeholders. We'll explain what those are in a moment. We also believe that the choice of goods and services offered should be subject to robust ethics. So you're not creating goods and services that harm people or the environment. We also think that the way those goods and services are produced and the way they're retailed, if you do that, should also be subject to ethical review. As social enterprise specialists, we believe in defining a social purpose for the enterprise and helping people audit the impact of their operations. And lastly, and perhaps most importantly, we believe in a social democratic model for ownership, governance, and management of capital. And we're not just talking about financial capital here. We're talking about human capital, social capital, intellectual capital, and environmental capital. Now, because it's a multi-stakeholder model, some people believe that it is too complicated. But we're making this video so that you can judge for yourself. Because the whole purpose of Fair Shares is to make the running of an enterprise simpler. An easy way to show you that Fair Shares is not that complicated is to demonstrate that people are using it. The person you can see in the picture here is Rob Jameson. He's based in the USA and he's been working with an Australian called Eric Dorian. And they recently registered any share society as a Fair Shares company uh, in the USA. Uh, and I'm now gonna play you a short video that they've prepared about their plans. The path of human history radically changed 10,000 years ago during the Neolithic period. During this time, people went from being hunters and gatherers to growing crops, thus creating a surplus of food for the first time in human history. The freeing up of labor made way for technological advances, but also created the need for a leader's class to manage this extra activity. Over time, an inequality between the leading members and everyone else started to grow. So fast forward to today, and massive wealth and income inequality has become the norm. The corporations of today play a very large part in this inequality. To illustrate how things could be different, just imagine the hundreds of billions of dollars that Apple, 
Microsoft, and Google alone have at hand. Just these three companies alone could single-handedly end world hunger if their cash stockpiles were shared equitably. Modern-day businesses are built by four stakeholder groups. Founders, investors, employees, and customers. We believe that all four of these shareholder groups are needed to have a voice in the direction of the company and to share in its profits. Not sharing voting and profit with all the stakeholder groups perpetuates inequality within the community. I'm very proud to say that Mass Mosaic has decided to become the first internet fair shares company. As Mass Mosaic grows and earns surplus profits, instead of them being returned to investors only or sitting in the bank, they're going to be returned to all stakeholder groups, including our members. The ability to have a voice in the direction of an up-and-coming company that is set in stone in the company's structure is unheard of with the status quo. By contributing to a company that's equitable at its core, people can trust that they are being part of the solution to a widespread inequality that we see today. Making Mass Mosaic a success will spur others to go down this path, and widespread adoption will right a wrong that's been over 10,000 years in the making.